Oh no, Andy Machete's The Flash could wipe the Snyderverse from the DCEU canon. Well, pretty much thought that was the idea all along, uh, since it's going to be taking its uh, point of direction, from, uh, point of departure from uh, Flashpoint and all of that. So here's a article from Bound Again the Comics talking about Mikey Sutton again on his sources saying that that's the plan. And I'll link it in the description below. But uh, basically, that uh, that's what they're going to do. And uh, that uh, Flashpoint, uh, war, war, I, I guess they're still going with the title of that. I'm not sure. Or it'll just be The Flash. Although I would have thought The Flash would be more about The Flash. <laughs> not the whole damn DC multiverse. But anyway. So uh, I suspect that, yes, that is the plan for the Warner Brothers part. What about HBO Max? That's the thing. So, oh my God, that's it. They, and they, you know, uh, Sarnoff came out and said, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's it for Zack Snyder's uh, Snyderverse, if you will. Uh, it's just a trilogy, and uh, his Justice League completes it. And we're moving on. And uh, the Joss Whedon version is still canon. <laughs> um, uh, so it says they'll borrow from uh, the Flashpoint story. And somewhat of Crisis on Infinite Earth, which, uh, of course, the CW tried to adapt. And ooh, the Crisis on Infinite Earth is a great series. I'm not all that crazy about what it resulted in, but just isolate it to itself is really great stuff. Um, and uh, But that would be cool if they could adapt that for an HBO Max series. <laughs> and that would be pretty expensive. But anyway, so... Uh, the point, the idea is, of course, Flash movie. Affleck will have his final scene as Batman in that one, and supposedly will will die in it. Uh, is what they're guessing is what will happen. Or I'm thinking just basically he would get erased from uh, the continuity, and Robert Pattinson would uh, take his place. Where they, never heard anything about Pattinson appearing in this film. I heard about Affleck coming back. And then Michael Keaton was supposed to come back as it would explore the DC multiverse. And supposedly spinning out of that would be the Batman Beyond uh, series or film. Um, which he's at the right age to play the Bruce Wayne of that story. Uh, and all of that, which, you know, fine, well and good. And this would be another acknowledgement of their multiverse. Whether Keaton would have any more interactions with Ezra Miller's Flash or anything like that. It wouldn't have to. He could go off on his own. And that sort of thing. And they would have these more standalone films, even though there's been a movie that acknowledges they, they're they sort of connected in that there's a multiverse. <laughs> See? <laughs> you follow? <laughs> uh, but meanwhile, Keaton, boy, he really threw a stumbling block into that. He's not necessarily on board. And, uh, oh, he wants more money or something. I Whatever. Or he's scared of COVID. And at his age, he probably has good reason to be concerned. And all of that. And uh, so it's not the done deal that one thought. And so that could be a bit of a problem with the overall story. This movie just can't seem to get made. I don't know how many different versions they've had of it. This has been going on for five years now. <laughs> um, so there's that. But the ultimate plan is what one could always suspect that when it became obvious that even before it was officially announced that Affleck was no longer uh, Batman, uh, that this might be the thing they would do. As to introduce, or well, they won't be introducing a new Batman. They have a new Batman uh, in uh, Robert Pattinson. I doubt that they would cast yet a a third Batman. I, <laughs> you know, to replace uh, Ben Affleck if he's not not interested in it, or there's no plans to do it. Uh, but Snyder Cut ends with showing you what was supposed to happen, and that it ends with setting up the Batman versus Deathstroke movie. And uh, it's too bad we probably won't be getting that, but uh, we should be getting it. <laughs> and all of that goes on into the rumor that there's still interest that HBO Max, not Warner Brothers, uh, still wants, still interested in an Affleck Batman and for Zack Snyder to be involved in future DC projects. So the idea is that there would still be this split and HBO Max would have all the Snyderverse stuff. And uh, the Warner Brothers would produce their own DC Universe stuff with J.J. Abrams and uh, with his Superman and Matt Reeves' um, uh, Batman uh, for the theatrical releases. 
well, <laughs> there's not a lot of money to go around, you know. So <laughs> I, I just, I, you know, there's forces within that don't want it. You can see the sabotage going on almost immediately. The, the Snyder Cut fans are toxic and all that sort of thing. Uh, and then whatever the hell this is about uh, bombarding uh, the King Kong or Godzilla versus King Kong movie, uh, which is more or less distributed through Warner Brothers, and this is a, it's a legendary production. So, you know, but still, uh, and of course, some people say get you know you can't help but get paranoid and think some of these are fake, and it's done to, to smear the image of restore the Snyderverse. Um, uh, either way, it's it's all pretty stupid. So, um, uh, it, it, so there's a lot of things around, just like whatever possible to stop any more of this. Uh, that's not what Sarnoff wants. Uh, and she says, no, nah, it's not versus concluded. Ultimately, it isn't up to her. It's up to AT&T. And uh, if they want more of this, then it'll happen. Another thing in the corner is, of course, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, who uh, will, his Black Adam movie, which they recently announced the release date for. Uh, he's always said he wants Henry Cavill's Superman to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, his Black Adam. And uh, so that's uh, that's some big muscle <laughs> in the Snyderverse corner in that he wants the Snyder. Now, some I heard somewhere, I can't remember, I'm sorry, that they were saying, oh, it's not just Henry Cavill he wants. He wants the whole Justice League to take on uh, Black Adam. We know the Justice Society will be introduced in his film, and uh, maybe he would want a more contemporary version of that, I guess, with the Justice League. So, you know, I, I'm not certain. Um uh, but ultimately, that if there's any more appearance of Henry Cavill as Superman, this would be his uh, chance for it. Cavill himself uh, you know, would want a Superman film, not a Justice League film, not a Black Adam film, a Superman film. But if the price of entry to that is that. But of course, how many times have they promised him <laughs> Man of Steel 2? And well, where is it? Yeah. So there are some pretty powerful uh, uh, players here who could change all of this. But to say that, the, no, that's not a plan. That's just a rumor. No, it's the plan. As far as Warner Brothers is concerned right now, uh, the Flash film just, you know, wipes that out. And I imagine there'll be some sort of scene at the end that establishes this, that it's changed. And, uh, you know, probably J.J. Abrams Superman will make his appearance at the end, if only in, like, some you know footage of him flying around or something like that uh and uh perhaps uh, uh robert pattinson's batman whether he'll interact with the flash and whatnot kind of like the ending of the comic book ser uh, series you know where obviously things had changed but he by then flash was unable to recognize that it had uh, the, the Batman looked like Batman, but his costume had kind of changed. But other than that, but in this case, it'd be a different actor pulls the mask off. <laughs> you know, and you know, you could see Batman from behind and the ears and the cape and all that. And the Flash reaches up to him and he turns around and it's Robert Pattinson, not uh, Bruce Wayne. And you can imagine Ezra Miller's Flash kind of blinks and looks at him and says, no, everything's back to normal. And of course, it really isn't. But too bad. That's the way it goes. And something like that, I can imagine, uh, they would do. Um, so, and for, as far as they're concerned, that's it for Snyderverse. Uh, but Snyderverse with the Snyder Cut on HBO Max is apparently doing very well for HBO Max. So, uh, this ain't over just yet. So, there you go. That's uh, my take on this. <laughs> uh, with a little help from Benning in the comics. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Of course, no damn good in way. Well, well, which way I want it to go. Uh, I would like uh, Snyderverse to continue, especially if you can get me uh, Ben Affleck as Batman and Henry Cavill back as Superman for more Superman movies. It's sure it's great set him up against Black Adam, but I would like to see him get a full-on Superman film, preferably have Superman going up against Brainiac, stuff like that. As for the Justice League sequels, uh, sure... But that plot line about Lois and Bruce Wayne, yeah, I don't want that in there. <laughs> Other than that, eh, the rest of it, eh. hey, hey, sky's the limit, you know. <laughs> but as always, 
I'll have to see what happens. But, oh, boy, these uh, behind-the-scenes soap operas that go on at these studios, you know? <laughs> when it seems like the blatantly obvious choice was there all along, but they just don't want to see it. Oh, well. There you go. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.